What's up guys and welcome to today's vlog. Um, I feel like I haven't just picked up the camera and done a normal, normal vlog, whatever that means. I feel like I haven't done this in a while so I thought why not pick up the camera, see what happens and you guys tend to like these videos. So um, it's Saturday morning, it's about 9.30ish, I'm at the gym. Uh, we are supposed to get dumped with a huge... I don't know if you want to say a snowstorm, but we haven't really gotten a lot of snow this winter and we're supposed to get like 20 inches they're predicting and it's supposed to happen all in a really short time. So even though I live in New York, the plows just usually can't keep up with that. So I'm going to go into the gym and try to get in my workout as quick as possible so I can get home before, before the weather hits in the event that we're snowed in for the weekend. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to hit up, I think, legs today. And I'm probably going to film my workout for you guys tomorrow. I want to do kind of like a weekly workout to post on the channel. I know some people get sick of seeing workout videos, um, but I just want to share more ideas because that's what I like. So hopefully you guys like that too. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in and get a quick workout in and hopefully get home before the snowstorm. All right guys, I'm home from the gym. I'm going to hit the shower. I already drank a protein shake on my way home. Um, it was like a protein shake mixed with coconut milk and peanut butter and hemp and spirulina. There's like a juice bar at my gym. So I don't usually hit it up, but I like had this moment of, holy shit, I'm so hungry. I'm not gonna survive like another hour. Um, so yeah, I had that and I'm gonna hop in the shower because we are filming today my Buff Bunny haul that's launching next weekend. I got a bunch of cute stuff. It's a little, little preview for you guys. So cute, just worked out in that. So I'm gonna film that video um, in our new video setup downstairs. I'm not sure if I've really shown you guys that, but we're kinda, Jason's working on a room downstairs in the basement that we can do all our filming for some videos and hauls because it's got like consistent lighting. And that's the biggest issue in my house is like the lighting, it changes so easily and it's hard to control, especially, you know, light, we lose it so early right now this time of year. So it just makes it like less stressful, especially for him, not for, it doesn't matter for me, more so for him on the editing side of things because it's important for him for things to look good. So if you can see all my Christmas shit is still out and about in the house, which is one of my goals this weekend. Um, because I've got a long, look at the sky, fuck. I've got a long weekend ahead. I got Monday off, celebrating Martin Luther King Day with my B. And that's my goal, is to get the Christmas decorations down, but my house is gonna look so empty. I need help how to decorate my house after all of this goes away because I never know what to do. And then the house just looks so empty. So I need help. But right now, I need to shower. Here's another sneaky peek. Bruce Waite. Got the goods. And this I am mostly like so excited for. The game changer bag. Oh my God, it's so big. I love it because I love a good big bag. It's got the logo down there, which I like. Very nice and clean looking. And then down here is where you can put all your food. And you would need to put ice in there. Well, I don't need to because of the winter time, but it's gonna keep it nice and cool down there. But then you have like loads of space up top to store stuff. But right now I have all the clothes that we're gonna be trying on. I'm so excited. So, so excited. It's like friggin' Christmas up in here. It is so pretty outside, you guys. I don't understand people that complain about the snow. I know it's hard for you to see because... Just a little better, although I've got very dirty windows. But it's so pretty. I don't know that I shared with you guys any of the Christmas gifts that I got from Jason this year, but I wanted to share one of my favorites. And this just shows you how old I am. But he got me a steamer. I hate vacu or vacuuming. Yeah, I don't like that either. But I hate ironing my clothes. So he got me this Rowenta 
steamer and it's super easy to use and I like it because I have like a lot of sweaters and things like that that just like I can't get away with like drying to make it wrinkle free and this just is so easy to use you steam it and and it makes it fun I don't know why but steaming stuff is way more fun than ironing so highly recommend my only complaint is it only holds so much water in there so if I'm trying to steam like a bunch of clothes at once it's only gonna last me so long depending on how much steam it needs but I really like uh, I'm so excited for this <laughs> Hashtag old, hashtag someone do my laundry. I always try to put in like a little effort on the days that I film clothing hauls just because I feel like, I don't know, I don't wanna have like scuzzy rat face while you guys are like checking out the items. But uh, yeah, I even threw on some fake lashes today. These are from House of Lashes. I love them because House of Lashes, not sponsored, um, makes like petite eyelashes which is awesome i still have to trim those but i find that they like fit my eyes better so they're not as overwhelming i think they look a bit more match so going downstairs to film the haul this guy's got to stay here by mr wayne gotta bring down my mirror my bag of goods i'm just so so grateful can't express that enough you guys i know peeps say i'm biased but I'm not, like, I've been wearing these clothes for over a year prior to becoming a Buff Bunny athlete. So um, I'm just very, very appreciative for the opportunities I have to be able to get items like this, review them for you. Um, I don't ever take that for granted because I know it could all be gone tomorrow. And I'm just so thankful for the opportunities that I have had between Buff Bunny Angel Competition, Bikinis, Tiger Fitness, MTS Nutrition provide them. So I know I'm very lucky and I just wanted to mention that because I never want to come across like I'm bragging or anything like that because I'm never trying to. If anything, I try not to to brag. It's just, um, I don't know, feeling very grateful today, you guys. Now, five o'clock, we spent like at least two, I would say two and a half hours just filming that video, clothing hauls take a while and that's not with commentary. So I'm gonna do the commentary tomorrow when I'm a little bit more fresh because when I get too tired for videos, I just lose my words and stumble on my words. So anyways, I'm making some food right now. We've got in here, this has been my jam lately. I've got some spinach and onion and I've got two whole organic eggs in there I'm cooking up and I'm just gonna leave those as is. I'm gonna toast some Ezekiel bread and then I haven't decided yet. I might put cheese on, I may not. But then I grabbed this at Trader Joe's this week, this peach salsa, spicy and smoky. And you guys, it's so good. Here's the macros if you care, but the flavor combo is super good. I think I'm gonna, yep, we're gonna slice up an avocado on top of my toast. That'll be it. Some toast porn, look at that. I end up just using a little bit of sprinkly taco cheese. Yum. Give me your alligator. He goes after you. He knows he can be like more aggressive with you. <laughs> uh, ventured out into the snowstorm. This ain't no snowstorm. It's <laughs> called winter, people. We gotta get heezy in the vlog because I think people miss you, right? It's been a bit. It has been a bit. It's been a hot minute. I haven't really vlogged much though. No. You know? I think that's part of it. You're so tall. No, I'm not. I'm just so small, you guys. Yes. You'll find out at the Arnold. <laughs> Number one comment I get when people meet me is... Oh, you're shorter than I thought. I thought you were so much taller. <laughs> exactly. You look taller on video. I'm a petite little Canadian. We're heading into Wegmans for some foods. This is how we get down on a Saturday, fam. Then UFC. Woo! I'm sorry if you guys don't have a Wegmans where you live because it's literally the best thing ever. Do you want a cart? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get
get some fish. We're gonna get some dog meats here because we've been buying Bruce more uh, fresh meat because he's bougie. He loves his fresh meats. See, Wegmans just hooks it up. If I ever forget my lunch, like this is the best place to come. So you can just grab big salads like this. I mean, you're gonna spend a pretty penny, but it's worth it. I'm gonna pick up for myself this, is it pokey? Poke? Poke? It's a poke bowl with quinoa and brown rice. Isn't that how you spell poke? It looks delicious. But I think it's, po no, we'll I, thing I think it's poke. Like, okay, but poke. I don't know. Myself some organic ground beef. And then I also found these bison sirloin steaks, which I've never tried. The macros on them are crazy. Three fat and 40 protein. Good amount of iron too, so I might give these guys a go. We got some fresh wild haddock. Jason's gonna cook up, cook up for us tomorrow. I don't like de-skinning fish. So that's all the man's job. Good morning, YouTubes. It's now Sunday, and I would say we are kind of snowed in here. My plow guy just came. Uh, Jason already went to the gym. I'm going to head out in a little bit. I'm just going to do some client work first before I go, and then we're going to head out. I'm going to do this. I just drive safe. You know, a lot of people probably wouldn't go to the gym on a day like this, and that's totally fine. But for me, I really love my weekend workouts. <clears throat> and I'll just play it safe, you know? Bruce Wayne, what are you doing right now? Why are you so sketched out? Huh? What are you protecting me from right now? Is that your teddy? Is that your best friend? To show you guys how much snow we got, real quick, it's cold out. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can't tell, it's all so white. This was all just plowed. It's like taller than me. Oh my goodness. All the snow here is beautiful. Hey guys, we made it to the gym and it doesn't look like many people are here. We made it safely. The roads are a little, little slick, but nothing this girl can't handle. So I'm going to go in and I don't <clears throat> have my workout plan for today. I'm kind of wanting to do something different. I'm kind of in the mode to just like really hit a quick workout, but an effective workout. So I might do some type of like circuit training just to kind of do some like full body movements, but get my heart rate up and just to have fun. Um, I used to call these Disney days where you just go in and you do whatever the heck you want to do and it makes it fun, you know? Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do and I will probably film it if there's not a lot of people around because I don't like filming in this gym. I feel like, I feel like I offend people just walking in this gym with the outfits that I wear because I don't know, this gym is just not meant to handle. To handle me apparently so we'll see this is perfect snowboarding snow it's so fluffy very very fluffy what's up guys i'm going to take you through the commentary portion of this video and talk you through my workout on this day so i'm working out at uh, metro fitness it's 
the closest gym to me and you just saw me running around the track for a second. I actually started my workout on this day with a 15 minute jog. That gym has that track around the outside of the gym section. So it's one tenth of a mile. So you run around 10 times equals a mile. And I like that just because sometimes I feel like I'm not ready to work out yet. So just starting with like 10 to 15 minutes of cardio kind of gets my blood flowing, gets my heart rate up, and just gets me more in the mood to work out. Now on this day, what you're seeing is a circuit style training day I did, which I am going to start incorporating these more once a week but I really haven't been doing any kind of circuit training in a long time. So what you're seeing here is uh, like a fat blasting circuit training style that I got from Athlean X. Um, I love his videos and this was a very basic one. So you guys might want to kind of like, I'll put the information in the description box. You can screenshot it if you want. This will be really great for anyone who's pressed for time, but really wants to get in a quick workout, but get your heart rate up. Um, so what you basically do are the following movements. You see me doing a shoulder press and then you go from a shoulder press into a weighted squat and I adjust the weights here in a second, but just rest the weights against your shoulders and go into a squat and then after you do so you're, you're going to do six rounds of this circuit. Let me back up for a second. You're going to do six rounds and you're going to start out with six reps for each of these movements. Next, going into a bent over row. And for each of the movements, you do six reps. And then you go into a deadlift for the last movement. So for round one, you do six reps. Round two, you do five reps. Round three, four and you just keep working down until your last set is just one rep. So you can rest in between each uh, set, so maybe 60 to 90 seconds, and then get right back to it, get the uh, weights up there, and start with your shoulder press. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, Athlean X explains it, or Jeff explains it much better than myself, but uh, I thought this was really fun just because it felt like a, a really good like full body workout. It really worked a little bit of everything. And in terms of weight selection, I went ahead and selected kind of an easier weight for me to overhead press. So I grabbed 20s. I probably could have went heavier because a uh, rep range of six as your highest reps isn't really a lot. So play around here, but you could strictly do this as a little mini workout. You're gonna have it done in like five minutes, honestly, five to 10 minutes. It was a very quick uh, paced little circuit. So definitely something great to keep on hand for anyone that's really in a hurry, but wants to have like a quick little circuit style training in. Um, so I also felt like I wanted to do a little bit more, so I was just searching other YouTube videos and coming up with different, I don't know, circuit style exercises I could do. Um, so you guys are just seeing me go through the rest of this circuit here. Um, with the snowstorm, it was a very dead day in the gym. Um, but yeah, so if you're ever bored and want to do circuit style training, really anything goes. There's a lot of ideas on the YouTubes, on the interwebs. Um, and I just kind of found exercises that looked appealing to me that I knew would be fun for me and get my heart rate up. And I've got to say, peep that cute little Rosa set from Buff Bunny Collection super duper comfortable um so now i went into my next circuit if you will um and i don't know the name of these i forget what they're called but they're so hard you guys so if you're more of a beginner watching this you could do this without the weights or you could just choose a lighter weight this was uh i chose 15 pound dumbbells so you start standing you come down into a push-up and then row with your one arm, go into another push-up, and then row with the other arm. And did I push up again? Yeah, I pushed up again before you jump up. And I 
I think I did like four or five reps of these and they're killer you guys like that's all it takes is four or five and my arms were on fire I was out of breath I started sweating and I could feel it the day after this workout too like that was just that's a that's such a good movement um, I'm gonna definitely throw those in the mix for my circuit days and then I moved into a squat with a shoulder press. And again, I apologize. I think there's a more technical name, but again, that's a very full functional movement and really gets your heart rate up. And then for the last movement, I just went into a barbell step up. And again, depending on your fitness level, you can choose a height that works for you. I chose kind of a smaller box that I just stepped up on and I did each leg for, I believe, 10 reps on each leg before I switched to the other leg. So again, this depends on you and your fitness level. I probably could have done a higher box, but I am trying to pull back a little bit in the gym and not overdo it. I think I've mentioned this here before, but I'm really just trying to still be creative with my workouts, have fun with them, but not totally, you know, I want to stay fit looking and healthy, but I just don't want to be murdering myself every gym session. So maybe that makes me sound like a baby, but in the new year, that's just what I'm doing and adding in some circuit style training is just one way for me to switch it up and have fun. I've been doing a lot of the same stuff this past year with my workouts. You guys know I've almost always followed a bodybuilding type split, you know, before I was a bodybuilder, even after, you know, for the past year and a half not competing, I still follow that same type of training style and... I love it, but I'm also someone that needs change periodically. So typical Kara is about two to three months max of what I'm doing. I love it. And then I start to get uninspired by it. And it makes me not really as invested in the gym, which is okay. But I personally love the gym. I love what it does for my mind over everything. So it's important for me to continually kind of assess how I'm feeling. I've I've done so many different types of training methods, you know, former Zumba girl here, former marathon former marathon runner, um, group exercise classes, like I've done a little bit of everything. So I'm just constantly trying to reassess when needed what I need to do to switch it up and just stay motivated and have fun in the gym. And I think that's really key for anyone to be successful, especially if you're new to the gym. And especially if you're not new to the gym, you know, it's important to not just go through the motions. It's important to enjoy it. And there's nothing wrong with changing your training style. So I'm having fun with that so far. It's been a good, good couple of weeks of workouts. So, you know, and there's so much information out there that you really can put together some fun training plans on your own without even needing a coach. Um, all right, so after that ramble, I decided to hit up some abs. I usually do abs before I lift, if it's a lifting day, just because, again, if I don't warm up on cardio, it's kind of a nice warm up for me. Um, but you're seeing some cable crunches here. When I do cable crunches, I really squeeze and push out. So you're going to see a little unflattering uh, belly situation, but whatever. Um, in terms of the movement, uh, I usually do that. I usually, sorry, I'm watching my reps and it's getting me uh, jacked up here, but I usually start with a very slow motion and then I move into some fast reps at the end is what you saw. And then with abs, I try not to take much of a rest. So I'll pick like two to four movements and I'll just kind of keep moving back and forth between them to totally exa exhaust my abs. So here, this is just the captain's chair doing some, uh, swinging leg raises and I try to keep my legs straight but then when it gets too tough I'll bring my knees up because I find that a bit easier um, and then I just again wrap them out until I can't get any more and then for my third ab movement on this day I probably could have had the this uh, decline bench a little bit steeper for myself but um, you know you can modify that how you'd like and I took a 10 pound plate overhead and started out really getting that stretch um, all the way back 
And then when I come forward, really breathing out. I'm that person that breathes really loud doing abs because that's what kind of helps keep the mind-muscle connection for me that I'm working my abs. You can very easily go through the motions with abs, but um, I was trying to keep that mind-muscle connection. And then to burn it out, I did some oblique, just kind of twists here on the side. Did some more of those. This is another variation of that is just also incorporating a crunch of, of doing the twist as you're going up and down. I find that is really killer. It <laughs> really burns out my abs. So again, I like to do go through those two or three movements and I spend about 15 minutes on abs until I really feel like I've exhausted them and gotten in a good burn with that workout. Um, and I usually do try to hit abs a couple times a week, not because doing abs is going to give you abs, but it really does help strengthen your core, and that's very important for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the workout footage and the rest of the vlog. They're in full effect when it's this cold out. We are having ourselves a little nutritious lunch. Jason cooked up for us some wild-caught haddock. I air fried some broccolini. And then we've got a little spinach salad here with some bell peppers and carrots. And I really like this balsamic and fig dressing from Trader Joe's. That was a good score. I'm going to top that on my salad, on my fish. I'm using this Big Buzz coffee rub by The Spice Beast. And a little pink salt on my broccolini. Bruce Wayne. This ended up being kind of a three-day vlog, which I didn't really intend, but I had a three-day weekend, so I thought it'd be a good time to pick up the vlog, even though I didn't really do anything exciting to show you this weekend. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to hit the little thumbs up button that lets me know you guys like it, and it also helps out the channel. Um, so it's Monday now. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon, and I'm embracing Monday scum day and just... It is what it is. I got a great workout in. And then I went to Target and needed some stuff, hit up some random stuff. I thought I'd share with you what I got on the back counter there. It's one of those like huge storage totes. So I have all my Christmas decorations piled up together. I'm gonna get those taken downstairs, which leaves my house super empty. So what I'm asking from you guys is to give me any tips on how to how to get better with decorating your house. Like I'm just not good at it. Like I can see things and know what I like, but when it comes to looking in my space and knowing how to best decorate it, I'm not so good with that. So if there's any YouTubers or any videos you can recommend to help your girl out, please let me know because that will probably be my next project now that the house is bare. But for the random foods and things, let me show you what I got. Um, we got a stack of bananas, stack of bananas, a bundle of bananas, bundle of bananas. Grabbed some of the Alexia sweet potato puffs. I think I'm going to make that with the bison steak. I'm going to try that out tonight. Some avocados, Whoop. Jason's whole wheat English muffins, although I eat them like I ate half of his last package. So that's why I owed him more. Grabbed some avocado oil, some Chobani coconut Greek yogurt. I had to run into tops, and no, this is not organic, but it's just chicken off the bone. Um, I was worried I was gonna get hangry, so I grabbed this to kind of snack on, and I didn't end up eating it yet. Then I grabbed some rice from Target. This is just a brown basmati. And these are some black lentils. So I think I might actually st or cook them both, heat them both up and then mix them together. I think that'll be a good combo with maybe some chicken and salsa on top. Some veggies. Then for random stuff, we needed some new toothbrush heads. I live for these because um, I had braces in junior high for like I have braces for one year. I think I only had them one year, but I've forever been scarred about like being self-conscious about having stuff in my in my teeth or in my braces. So I always have these on hand to use after meals if I don't have like dental floss in my purse. Kind of a nut about that. So we got those. Then I grabbed this. I need to paint my toenails and stop paying people to do it for me. Grabbed a couple beauty sponges. 
try the e.l.f. ones out. I'm not sure if they're any good. I got one for my foundation or concealing, and then this one I'm going to use for, like, um, powder. So I've never tried to separate that. We'll give that a shot. I'm going to try out this Kristen S. hairspray. I've never used her hairspray before, but I do like the way her products smell. Uh, grabbed this new NYX Candy Slick lip gloss in the color what is that what's the color cream b color is cream b i saw uh stephanie lita reviewed this in her like drugstore haul and it wasn't that color but it looked like it was good and also grabbed a butter bronzer grabbed these if you guys want your laundry to smell amazing these are by far the best scent ever no joke you need them and normally i wouldn't buy two because i just don't do that but there was a five dollar gift card if you did two so that's what i got and some eggs and then oh yeah i got i did meander into the clothing section of target which i really have no business doing but i did and i grabbed a couple couple things I'll show you hat napkins. so I got this hat which I can't really can't really oh this may have been a mistake I have the tiniest head right now I look like Beetlejuice maybe it'll look cuter when my hair is down but I was like envisioning this for like some you know artsy fartsy like fashion type photos for Instagram I'm trying to be a bit more consistent on Instagram and I'm obsessed with looking at other like beauty Instagrammers fashion Instagrammers if you will and I just thought this hat would make for a good prop because I normally like hats but it makes my head look very very tiny but I got that and I got a few tops so been living for this orange color and I don't know if it's my color or not but I really like it so it's just a basic t-shirt in the a new day brand at Target got that I got this little black cami it's cute it's got like kind of like the little collar that comes up that's sleeveless to wear under cardigans and I wanted this before I saw the price tag I'm not someone that shops for a deal I really probably should but I don't um, but I do love leopard and I don't understand why it was so cheap. It was $6.88 But I love leopard. So I grabbed that And then again feeling kind of like the yellow orange mustard color grabbed this sweater And this is the brand universal thread so that was my whole target haul and now This stuck in my bun I am actually going to take a quick shower and eat and that's going to conclude this vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to comment below what your favorite part of the video was and i hope you guys had a great weekend and i'll see you in the next video